Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I have another speed puzzling compilation video for you. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm practicing to go to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in Spain this September. Very excited to do so. So I'm mostly concentrating on Ravensburger brand jigsaw puzzles as they're the main sponsor and those are the brands that we will be doing at the competition. So I've have done four jigsaw puzzles in this video for you all. I have some notes here, so apologies if I look down. The first one, this one right here called The Magic River, standard cut 500 piece Robin's Burger. The artist is Steve Reed. Now, I knew this was going to be a bit tricky. It's actually still done, assembled on the table here. Tricky because a lot of colors blending into one another. Uh, not a lot of definite lines, a lot of similar colors, a lot of foliage. And I thought if I can just get it done in under the 90 minute like regulation time, I'd be so happy. And I was so very pleased with myself because I just made it at one hour, 26 minutes and 51.17 seconds. So basically nearly an hour and 27 minutes. Oh my goodness, I was very, very pleased with that. I basically tried to build as much as I could as I sorted, but I did end up sorting a lot of pieces. I tried to use Wendy's advice, don't get fixated on a piece, did that, had my unknown pile. I tried also not to grab the box. I only tend to bring the box towards me at the end when there's room. I don't want the box to clutter or to take up one of my hands. So I'm trying to no longer hold the box. And I think I did quite well for what I feel is a bit trickier of an image. Have you done this jigsaw puzzle? What did you think of it? It's very pretty, it's very beautiful, yes, but just a little bit trickier, so I'm so pleased with that time. The next you're going to see, Wendy and I go head to head, speed puzzling a Cavallini and Co. jigsaw puzzle. It's actually still finished here on the table. You might be able to see some in the video. Um, a friend and viewer of the channel, Samantha, sent us these because she ended up getting two copies. This is from their vintage puzzle series and this one is the New Zealand one. And she thought it would be great to see how Wendy and I did. Now, first of all, love Cavallini & Co. It's the only time, the second time that I've done one and the only time that I've done one here on the channel. I love the packaging. The other one I've done, I believe it's called Celestial Map and it's on display down at the Jigsaw Puzzle display. And the tube, because it was a thousand pieces, a bit longer, my husband uses it for his paintbrushes. So the tubes, great quality. You can definitely reuse them. The jigsaw puzzle comes in a nice like cloth bag. So that's really quite nice and comes with a poster because obviously it's hard to see the image wrapped around the cylinder. The poster may be a bit small, but actually because of the design of this jigsaw puzzle, I didn't have any issues with it at all. I just loved having the poster. So Wendy and I went head to head and we both love the image. And one thing I've realized is when I really enjoy a jigsaw puzzle image, I'm just naturally faster at it. And when things pop out, you know, colors and sections are distinct. It's easier, I feel. So this is now my new fastest time for a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. I nearly broke the one hour mark. <laughs> one hour. 39 seconds, 0.69. So basically one hour, 40 seconds. So close to being under that one hour mark. And actually it's the fastest time for Wendy as well. She did it in one hour, 41 minutes and eight seconds. We both absolutely loved it. You'll see in the video, it's hard to see the timer and I just tapped the lap bu button so that it would continue timing for Wendy. But those were our times, we had so much fun. Thank you again, Samantha, for sending this to us. Oh, it was great fun. I can't wait to, to, you know, maybe pass them on to other people who want to go head to head and try them out. Beautiful. But I would like to do a proper Cavallini & Co. feature on this channel. So let me know, are there any specific images you'd like to see me from that brand actually do and build here? The next jigsaw puzzle I don't have with me any longer because I borrowed it from Allison and I've returned it to her. It's Cabana Retreat and the artist's name was Nancy Wernersback. I believe I said that correctly. Just a side note, I couldn't actually find an artist's name on the Cavallini & Co. one. 
um, they must be just in-house designers that have designed it. There's no one particular artist that's pointed out on the packaging. But Cabana Retreat is a 500 piece Robin's Burger puzzle, but it's the larger pieces. So I gave myself a larger surface on which to do the jigsaw puzzle because it ends up being about the size, I believe, of a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle from Robin's Burger. The reason why Allison wanted to do it is that she saw that Tammy had done it on Karen Puzzle's channel against her, and she wanted to see how she compared to them and passed along to me to see how I would do. Now, first of all, Allison, I haven't mentioned her much. We met buying and selling um, jigsaw puzzles online, and we've started puzzling together, and she is naturally a very fast puzzler. Oh my goodness, she's... Yeah, she's fast. If she comes to the Masters Games in 2024 next year, uh, my money's on her to win. She is really, really good. So Cabana Retreat, loved the image, loved the colors, loved everything about it. I tried to build as much as I could. I did get a bit fixated on the water. And I told myself, stop, just leave it till the end. And once I was at the end and had all just the water, it went so much faster. I think I wasted a bit of time trying to fixate on that water. I don't know why it was tricky for me. Also, when I was kind of sorting the pieces for the white um, curtain area, I kind of left them in my puzzling area and they got in the way. So eventually, you know, I got to do better. Unless I know exactly where a piece goes, I got to put them off to the side in piles so they don't get in my way. But I, I'm very pleased with my time. So my time was one hour, three minutes, and 31.39 seconds. So again, I'm getting so close to that one hour mark. Now, how did Tammy do? In case you haven't seen the video, I'll leave a link to the, in the description below to it. Tammy did it in 53 minutes, 45 seconds. So I'm basically within 10 minutes of Tammy's time. And that makes me so proud. I was, I was just so happy. And Karen's time was 59 minutes, 14 seconds. So just under an hour. So then I asked Allison, I said, Allison, how did you go? How'd you do? She didn't tell me her time before I did it. She didn't give me the seconds part, but she said she did it in 54 minutes. 54 minutes. And she's just started speed puzzling. She just puzzles naturally a lot. And I was like, you're like right up there with Tammy. That's amazing. So I'm like, Allison, you're, you're really good. This is awesome. I was so proud of her. I was shocked. I was like, wow, that's, that's good. Oh my goodness. So I really enjoyed doing that jigsaw puzzle. I'm trying not to do too many of the large format piece ones because I want to focus on the regular size ones, but it was still really enjoyable to do. And I'm, I'm so pleased with my time. So since Allison is such a little speed puzzler, I asked her if she would help practice pairs with me. Now, this is the jigsaw puzzle we did. I picked out what I thought was one of my more difficult 500 piece Ravensburger puzzles. Very busy image. This one's called a quirky cir circus, a quirky circus, a European map, something like that. European map, quirky circus. And the artist is Pabuku, P-A-B-U-K-U. It's a beautiful image, the type of image that I absolutely love. But we were like, wow, how are we going to do this? So our first time speed puzzling together. And I asked Allison if she wanted to puzzle so that we'd, we would each be on the side of the jigsaw puzzle. She's actually really good at puzzling upside down. So she said, I'll puzzle it upside down. You do it right side up. That will be better, she thought. And she, she's good. She's good. She's very good at puzzling up the right side up and then moving the sections into the puzzle. And then even when we got to the end of the jigsaw puzzle and just filling in the holes, she was, she was just really good. She's, she's probably going to be embarrassed. She'll be like, you talk too much about me on your video. But she's fast. I'm so impressed. So we decided we would try to sort as best as we could. What we did is along one side of the table, we did pieces with mostly blue water, blue and land, like ocean and land, and then mostly land. And then we sorted by color, like the yellows, the reds, the greens, the pinks and purples. And the first time we sorted, because we did it twice, back to back, the first time we did it, we sorted the border pieces in their sections, and we realized the second time, no, that was probably a mistake. Just pull the border pieces out on their own. And then the first time we sorted, we tried to do 
um, just sort out pieces more for the curtains on their own, where the second time we just threw them all in the reds because the curtain actually extends down here. It's not just at the top. So our first go was really interesting. And what was funny was Allison, she's not used to speed puzzling. And if she picked up, say from the box, two pieces connected together, she wanted to separate them. And I was like, no, no, that's a gift from the puzzle fairies. <laughs> if you find pieces already together, leave it. Let's face it, a Robinsberger puzzle, they're so good. If I find two, maybe three sets already connected, that's it. I'm sure at a competition, if I were to open a box and half the pieces were assembled, I'd be like, whoa, something's wrong here. You know, we got to mix this up. It's, it's too much. But to find one or two sets of connected pieces, I think on average, it's going to happen. Don't feel like you have to separate the pieces. So I kept telling her, no, don't separate them. It's okay. <laughs> but we did what I thought we did really well our first go round. It was 48 minutes. 14.4 seconds. I was so excited about that. I was so very pleased. Now, of course, we did it a second time, and we do have the familiarity that we just did it. However, the second time we did it, we definitely sorted a lot better, but we both then started building things that we hadn't built the first time. So afterwards, we both said it was a little slow going. We thought the start because she was building something she hadn't touched the first time and wasn't familiar with it. And I also did the same thing. So at least in that respect, we didn't make it super easy on ourselves, but loved it. So the second go, I was very impressed. I thought we might shave off maybe five minutes from our overall time. Oh my goodness, we did it in 34 minutes, 49.86 seconds. So 34 minutes, and 50 seconds. We shaved off like 14 minutes from our time. That surprised me. I think that was better technique, working better together. Of course, there's the familiarity of having just done the jigsaw puzzle, but 14 minutes, that shocked me. I didn't think we could do it that much faster, but I was so pleased to do that with her. Oh my goodness. And have you done this jigsaw puzzle? What do you think? Do you think this would be a style they would give us in competition? or is it just too busy? Leave your comments below, but oh, I it was so much fun, like pair speed puzzling with her. She's, she's so good. So now I wanna try to do a team practice on a thousand piece Robinsberger puzzle. Unfortunately, I can't find four people here locally. So it's gonna be myself, Wendy and Allison. We're gonna give it a go on a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. And we will allocate ourselves more time than kind of like the 90 minute standard time for a thousand piece team. We'll maybe allocate ourselves two hours. I'll explain the math to you once I show you that video, but it'll be interesting to see how we get on. I noticed pair puzzling with uh, Allison because she's so fast. There were times we actually knocked hands. It, it was kind of funny. And some tips I go by like, don't get stuck on a piece. That's Wendy's advice. You know, things like it doesn't matter who puts the piece in as long as the piece goes in. Don't hog pieces. Don't leave pieces sitting on top of the puzzle. You might lose where they are. So I'm learning all these tips and tricks and techniques, which is very helpful, but I just don't know how to make my hands go any faster. So I'm gonna keep practicing. I still have quite a few puzzles to do. I'm really hoping to get my time under that one hour mark. That's only a personal goal though. And this was just so much fun. I love puzzling with Wendy. She is doing great. I absolutely loved puzzling with Allison. This was our first time, by the way, puzzling together, like properly puzzling together. It was so much fun. I can't wait for us to try to do a thousand piece, the three of us together. I'm so excited. I'm just really enjoying practicing. I realize speed puzzling isn't for everyone and that's fine. You know, some, you know, I enjoy puzzling casually just for fun, but I also enjoy speed puzzling. So I hope you enjoy my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao.